Good day. In this video, we're going to solve these and other exponential equations. Remember that when you have a quadratic equation like this, and you have to solve for x, you bring everything to one side and equate it to zero. So you break it up into two brackets. x to the power of 1 and x to the power of 1 in the beginning of each bracket. The factors of 6 is 3 and 2. Because that is a minus, your signs will be different, and the biggest number will get this sign. You get two answers, x equals to minus 3 or x equals to plus 2. Here's another quadratic equation. You have to solve for k this time. You take out a common factor of k to the power of 1, and you end up with k to the power of 1 minus 4. So two factors. And your final answer is k equals to 0 or k equals to plus 4. Right, so here we have our exponential equations. Let's solve for x. Remember, x to the power of 2 thirds is the same as x to the power of a third times x to the power of a third. It's almost like having a k square plus k minus 6. So then we factorize it. We set up two sets of brackets. In the beginning of the bracket, we have an x to the power of a third and the x to the power of a third. That if I times it, I'll get x to the power of 2 thirds. Then, because we want a 6 at the back, we got a 3 and a 2. The sign is a minus, so we have a minus and a plus. Biggest number gets the plus. Then we get two solutions. x to the power of a third equals to minus 3 from that factor. And x to the power of a third equals to plus 2 from that factor. Then, to isolate the x, we times this third with this reciprocal 3 over 1. But we have to do it to exponents on both sides. And we just do the same with this part of the answer. Then our answer is x equals to minus 27 or x equals to plus 8. Please stop the video and get your brain around this solution. Next we have to solve for x in this equation. It's almost like having a k square minus 3k minus 4. We factorize it. We write the x to the power of a half here and the x to the power of a half. If you times them, you'll get x to the power of 1. And the factors of 4 is 1 and 4, because the signs are different. I'm going to have a plus and a minus, and the minus will go to the biggest number. So therefore, x to the power of a half equals to minus 1 from that factor, and x to the power of a half equals to 4 from that factor. Then x to the power of a half equals to minus 1 has no solution. And x to the power of a half equals to 4, you will times the exponent with 2 over 1, so x equals to 4 squared, so x equals to 16. If you have trouble understanding what happened over here, look at the video that says equations with rational exponents on this channel. Right, let's solve for x in this equation. Remember, this part means 5 squared times 5 to the minus x. That is the same as 25 over 5 to the power of x. Because you have an equation with fractions, we times by the LCD, which is 5 to the power of x. You times 5 to the power of x with 5 to the power of x, you're going to get 5 to the power of 2x. This will become 25, because the 5 to the power of x cancels. That is 26 times 5 to the power of x. Then we bring the 26 times 5 to the power of x to this side, and put this equation in order. Now we can see that this exponent is twice as big as that one. Let's now see how we'll go about solving for x. This 5 to the power of 2x is the same as 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of x. Some people like to see it as k squared minus 26k plus 25. After we factorized this then, we'll end up with two brackets, 5 to the power of x in the beginning of the bracket, a 1 and a 25 at the back, and a minus and a minus. Remember, we don't write this part, we just have our equation, and then we factorize immediately. So we have two possible answers so far. 5 to the power of x equals to 1 from here, and 5 to the power of x equals to 25 from there. So this part will become 5 to the power of x equals 5 to the power of 0, and this one, 5 to the power of x equals to 5 squared. So finally, we have x equals to 0, or x equals to 2. Please stop the video and get your brain around this one. Let's solve for x in this equation. Convert this third into exponential way of writing. And now we can see that this exponent is twice as big as this one. So we factorize. We end up with x to the power of 2 thirds here and x to the power of 2 thirds here. 8 times 9 will give us a 72. 
because there is a minus, we'll have a plus and a minus, and the biggest number will get this sign. So we get two equations, x to the power of a third all squared is equal to minus 8, or x to the power of a third all squared is equal to plus 9. When you try and get rid of that square there, that means you have to square root minus 8. So there is no solution on this part of the sum. On this side, to get rid of the square, we square root both sides. Remember to write a plus minus the square root of 9. Yet again, we get two possible solutions. x to the power of a third equals to plus 3. Or x to the power of a third equals to minus 3. Then to get rid of this third, you cube both sides. Get x equals to 27 on this part. Or x equals to minus 27 on this part. Please stop the video and get your brain around this one. Let us solve this equation. 9 to the power of x can be written as 3 to the power of 2x. Remember, 3 to the power of x minus 2 means this. 3 to the 2x is 3 to the x times 3 to the x. Now we can take out a common factor, 3 to the power of x of both of them. So you write 3 to the power of x, and then in here you write 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of minus 2. Now we have two parts to the answer. So we have 3 to the power of x equals to 0 from that factor. Or 3 to the power of x equals to 3 to the power of minus 2 from this factor. 3 to the power of x equals to 0 has no solution. 3 to the power of something can give you any positive answer except 0. Then 3 to the power of x equals to 3 to the power of minus 2. Therefore, x equals to minus 2. If the bases are the same, the exponents are equal. Please stop the video and get your brain around this solution. Now let's solve for x in this equation. We take the 84 to the other side by adding 84 on both sides. We expand all these terms. And we can see we have a common 2 to the power of x we can take out. So you have 2 to the power of x here, and this bracket over here equals to 84. We simplify inside this bracket. We have a 4 here, plus a quarter here, plus 1. It gives us 5 and a quarter. I advise you to use your calculator here. You take the 84 and you divide it by the 5 and a quarter. There's a multiply there, and you've got to get the 2 to the power of x alone. If you're not allowed to use the calculator, you can take the 84 over 1 times 4 over 21. So 2 to the power of x equals to 2 to the power of 4. Therefore, x equals to 4. Please stop the video and get your brain around this solution. Let us solve this equation for x. We change the 4 to the power of x to 2 to the power of 2x. It's almost like having a k squared plus 4k minus 5. We factorize this trinomial, 2 to the power of x and 2 to the power of x in the beginning of the bracket. 5 and a 1 at the back, plus and a minus. So 2 to the power of x equals to minus 5, or 2 to the power of x equals to 1. 2 to the power of x equals to minus 5 has no solution. On this side we have 2 to the power of x equals to 2 to the power of 0. 1 is 2 to the power of 0. Therefore, x equals to 0. And try and understand that 2 to the power of something can only be a fraction or a big, very big number, but never negative. Here we have to solve for x again. Maybe stop the video and try it yourself. Yes, we plus 12 on both sides. And here we have a common factor of 3 to the power of minus x we can factorize out. So 3 to the minus x times 3 to the 1 is this, and 3 to the minus x times 1 will give me this. Simplify the part in the bracket. It gives us a 4. Divide by 4 on both sides. We get 3 to the minus x equals 3 to the power of 1. So minus x equals to 1. So x equals to minus 1. Please stop the video and get your brain around this solution. The last two equations of this video, they say solve for x. Now the bases aren't the same. Let me just write the answer. x equals to 0. Remember that 3 to the power of 0 is 1 and 4 to the power of 0 is 1. Please stop the video and get your head around this solution. x equals to 0 in this case. Here's another one, 2 to the power of 1 over x equals to 5 to the power of 1 over x, solve for x. This is only possible if 1 over x equals to 0. And then this specific question has no solution. 1 over x can never be 0. Please stop the video and get your brain around these two equations. 
please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy Exponents.